Welcome to Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. The partial government shutdown is now in its third week, as the impasse over President Trump's demand for $5.7 billion in border wall funding shows no signs of abating over the weekend. Trump threatened to call a national emergency if no agreement is made. We're looking at a national emergency because we have a national emergency. Just read the papers. We have a crisis at the border of drugs, of human beings being trafficked all over the world. They're coming through. And we have a, an absolute crisis and of criminals and gang members coming through. It is national security. It's a national emergency. Democratic lawmakers swiftly condemned the idea, calling into question the legality of the move. Chairman of the House Intelligence Committee, Adam Schiff, called the idea a non-starter Sunday, saying, quote, if Harry Truman couldn't nationalize the steel industry during wartime, this president doesn't have the power to declare an emergency and build a multi-billion dollar wall on the border. On Sunday, Trump said he'd push for the construction of a steel barrier instead of concrete, presenting the idea as a compromise for Democrats. He also repeated the idea Mexico would pay for the wall through the USMCA trade deal, which would create billions in revenue for the United States. The USCMA has yet to be ratified by Congress. Federal agencies have been ordered to suspend planned pay raises for top administration officials amidst the ongoing shutdown. The raises had been set to go into effect on Sunday, after a longstanding pay freeze for senior officials lapsed. 800,000 federal workers have either been furloughed or have been working without pay since the government shutdown started. The 380,000 furloughed workers will not receive back pay, and Trump canceled their January 1st raise.